The last may not have been heard of the debacle between the Nigerian government and Irish firm PNID, as the latter said the country should hold Attorney General Abubakar Malami responsible. In a statement over the weekend, it blamed Malami's inaction and dilly dallying for the turn of events and not even past government, as Nigeria had ample time when Buhari took over to settle matters when the repatriation cost stood at just $850 million. However, this case has got the Nigerians talking as a seen in this protest at the front of the Embassy of Ireland in Abuja. The judgment in UK as far as we are concerned is fraudulent. The judgment is in UK as far as we are concerned is political. As far as we are concerned is a kangaroo judgment that has never been heard before in the whole world. A, a, a little company like P&ID, I wonder where Nigeria will going to see 9.6 billion dollars. That is huge. That is huge. And why we have come to protest is to tell the whole world that the, the, the Nigerians' collaborators and the international collaborators be brought to book. The Irish firm involved in the $9.6 billion asset controversy with Nigeria outrightly blamed President Mohamed Buhari's government for the nation's precarious situation in the matter. Recall the court in the United Kingdom had two weeks ago affirmed the right of P&ID to seize at least $9.6 billion, about 2.9 trillion naira at the official exchange rate of 305 to the dollar of Nigeria's asset as arbitration award because the country failed to live up to the terms of the contract. Key government officials, including Information and Justice Minister Lai Mohammed and Abubakar Alami, last week alluded to the fraud in the crafting of the 2010 gas contract. The judgment that was delivered on Friday, 16th of August 2019, is a fallout of the contract purportedly entered into in 2010 between the Federal Ministry of Petroleum Resources and P and I. D. Please note that in the 20 year gas supply processing agreement reportedly entered into with the P and ID in 2010, the company never performed. According to PNID, the current administration failed to take a consolidatory stance and was negligent in the processes leading to the confirmation of the award by the English court. However, here is a review of the crisis and how it happened. January 11, 2010, P&ID signed a gas supply and processing agreement with the Ministry of Petroleum Resources on behalf of the Nigerian government. P&ID to build and operate an accelerated gas development project to be located in Cross River State. FG to source natural gas OML 123 and 67 operated by Adax Petroleum and supply to P&ID to refine into fuel suitable for power generation in the country. Nigeria expected to supply an initial volume of about 150 to 200 million cubic feet of gas per day. PNID would receive no payment for executing the contract, but it would own the byproduct created by the refining. The byproduct would include propane, ethane, and butane, natural gas liquids. The market would be worth billions of dollars over the 20 year lifespan of the contract. The deal, if it was implemented, no doubt would have created several opportunities in growing Nigeria's economy and perhaps aid the former President Goodluck Jonathan administration's gas to power master plan. The fallout. However, P and ID alleged the Nigerian government reneged on its obligation after negotiations were opened with the Cross River State government for allocation of land for the project. P and ID said the failure to construct the pipeline system to supply the gas frustrated the construction of the gas project, thereby depriving it of the potential benefit from over 20 years worth of gas supplies. And then the company said attempts to settle out of court with the Nigerian government failed on several occasions. But according to experts, this could have been avoided. It's a move if executed that would impoverish the nation and creates a very significant setback on the economy of Nigeria. It is unfortunate. However, Nigerian government said it has already instituted a probe of the contract. Uh, apart from that, if there's a depletion of 25% in our reserves, Chances are that those who look at those reserves in order to make investments will also call their investment. So there may be a stampede. If you if you're able to take 9.6 billion, almost 10 billion out of the 
exams, I'm going to be down to $34 billion. And before you know it, um, if people start to stampede, before you know it, it may go below $30 billion. Nigeria is a sovereign country. Any attempt to cripple our economy will be fought back by her citizens and by the good government of this great nation, Nigeria. For many Nigerians, the Irish firm PNID may have exploited loopholes and non-challenged attitudes of the Nigerian government in implementing agreement. From all indications, the dispute could have been settled out of court. More so, the awarded fine of $9.6 billion is 20% of the country's external reserves and 2.5% of GDP, which is enough to stall meaningful growth. While the federal government plans to appeal, this perhaps may serve as a deterrent for public office holders. For now, the end is yet to come. Defeat, defeat judgment. We no go green. We no go green. We no go green. Roots TV Nigeria.